Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. Today I'd like to show you a card that I created for a swap. This was for the Norway Trip Achiever Swap. It was an incentive trip earned um, through Stampin' Up! And we all signed up to swap and this was the card that I made. I love this adorable little carousel horse bundle. And so it was one of the first ones I grabbed to play with when I got my new catalog products. All right. Let's do our stamping. I've got our carousel horse, and I'm gonna stamp her in memento black on basic white cardstock. I've got the, the little carousel pole also in memento black. Let's see, we'll just do that down here. And then I've got the sentiment, and we're gonna use Azure Afternoon, and I am only going to ink up the word enjoy. Okay, like that. All right, now I'm gonna use my Stampin' Blends, and I think I'm gonna bring my chair over because I do a much better job coloring when I am sitting. All right, the first thing I'm gonna start with is Light Smoky Slate on her tail, and I'm just gonna go completely over it, and then we'll come back and add in some shadows. Now, I looked on Pinterest to see what color carousel horses should be. And what I found is that there's no right or wrong way. They are all different colors. Lots of pastels and rainbow colors. Um, so feel free to color your carousel horses any color you want. Now I'm gonna go over a couple of these segments to make them a little bit darker so that we have a little bit of variation. Now I'm gonna come up here and color the horse's mane. I'm using the bullet tip end of my marker. I prefer the bullet tip end, I just feel like I have better control over it, but that's a personal preference. The other end is a brush tip. You might find that you like it better. All right, I'm gonna add in a little bit of dark under some of those lines as well. And let's do that part right there. All right, now we're gonna use Azure Afternoon to color in the saddle. This is one of our new core colors. It's a really good turquoisey blue. Well, no, that's probably not a good description. It's, well, I don't know. It's a beautiful blue, like what you would see in on the Greek islands. That's that's a good way to describe it. It's not green, it's very blue. So not turquoisey. In my mind, I always think it's turquoisey, but it's not. All right, now let's take Flirty Flamingo and color in the rest, this little decoration right here. Okay, now I'm gonna take Wink of Stella and I'm gonna add Wink of Stella, which is just a clear glitter brush, all over the remaining white parts of my horse. Give her a little bit of shimmer. Now let's get our Azure Afternoon again and we're gonna color in this pole. I'm using the light and I'm just gonna very carefully Tap that color into every other segment. And, um, well, it looks like I skipped a section, but that's okay, because the horse is gonna cover up most of that middle part. I need my glasses, and I don't have them with me right now, so <laughs> I'm trying my very best to stay in the lines. All right, we are ready to cut. Now I'm gonna take some post-it tape to really hold down my dies. Um, I don't have any kind of magnetic platform on here, so I wanna be certain that my dies don't slip. So I'm gonna take, this is called post-it tape, and I get it from Amazon. And I'm just gonna slide that die around until it fits in around the tail, around the feet, and around the head. I'm gonna put that down like that. Now for the 
post down here or the pole. I'm going to use two pieces of tape, one for the top. And one down here for the bottom. All right, last but not least, these are the nested essential dies. Now we're gonna put this die on like this. All right, I don't think I need any tape there. I don't know, will I regret if I don't? Well, let's just go for it. All right, let's get our pieces out. There's our adorable little horse and our the pole that he sits on or she sits on and enjoy. Now to create the focal point of my card, I have cut out a basic white um, uh, stitched tailor-made tag. That's what I'm looking for. And I realize now that I didn't even need to cut that out. That could have been stamped right on there like that. But you know what? That's all right. There's no right or wrong. But to save yourself a step, if you want, you can just stamp that directly on your tag. Um, one thing I do remember, I made these a while ago, these swap cards, is that the pole is too long for the tag so you can see I went down below so we'll snip that off there at the end and we're gonna put our horse right there and then our enjoy with a dimensional also right there now we've got paper or ribbon that perfectly matches our azure afternoon color and this ribbon comes in a three pack, Azure Afternoon, Bubble Bath, and Lemon Lolly, all three new lovely colors. All right, snip your bow, grab a glue dot, and we'll put that right there at the top, like that. Now let's snip off the end right there. All right, now to make my little striped paper, I have a piece of basic white that is three and three fourths by five, and I have some three quarter inch strips of Flirty Flamingo. And I'm gonna start up here at the top. I've made them longer than they need to be. I'm gonna go around and trim them off when we're done. And I'm just gonna kind of space them out about the same distance Let's see, we want to get that straight. Is that one straight? I don't know. Let's see. There we go. We've got one here. And we'll do one more. You only need four of them. Like that. All right, now flip it over. And there you've made your own designer series paper, pattern paper. I'm gonna stick my tag on with some dimensionals. Like that. And then I'm gonna get the little flowers and some flirty flamingo ink and stamp them three times. Like that. And last but not least, all you have to do is put it on your card base. And you know, of course, I'm gonna use dimensionals. One, two, three, four. And there you go. All right, you guys, a fun way to use the Carousel Horses bundle. I have uh, three, nope, I have four other projects using this stamp set. So make sure you click the link here on, here on YouTube, hop back over to my blog. Um, there will be several days of post featuring this adorable bundle. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Let me know if you have questions. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.